Welcome back. This is going to be my uh, full technical analysis for Friday, uh, November 20th, 2020. And as you can see, uh, we're looking at the US dollar index and uh, we rallied quite significantly in the trading session and early trading session today. Um, just to give it back in the late uh, session. And uh, at this point, we are again testing these very lows. So if this breaks, then we'll go all the way down to these very lows at 91.78. And that will mean that stocks, commodities, precious metals, and so on will rally quite significantly, which I see, uh, will, which I actually guess is very unlikely, especially the indices, which are at this point very, very overbought, and also most of the uh, commodities. So they are expected to fall. And therefore, I also expect this to be one of the reasons why they are going to fall. And therefore, I think that we are going to see a rally up towards the 50 moving average instead of dropping below here. That could be, just keep in mind, if that happens, then commodities will go the other way. But if this rally rallies, then the commodities will decline. And that is what I do expect for most of these commodities. So technical analysis for um, for the US dollar index are looking more bullish, to be fair, especially if you look at the CCI. So, so the RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, but uh, stochastic and MACD are bearish at this point. So if you look at oil, this is one of the most exciting uh, commodities to trade at this point. And the reason for this is that we have been testing this area for several, several times now. The very highs are up here at uh, of uh, 43.6. Uh, that is the very highs. And if that breaks, then of course we go significantly higher from, uh, from there. But the world economy just isn't in that shape to go that high. It will be pure speculation as this move here was completely pure, pure speculation. It's fantastic that we have a new vaccine, but the vaccine in itself, the news, will not make us use more oil. The demand is the same now as it was back down here. So this is a complete overreaction. And when you have an overreaction, you basically have a similar um, uh, fall towards the downside. So I started shorting this. I expected to fall towards the 50 moving average. And if that breaks, it will fall all the way down to the $36 range. And that will also coincide to, with these previous support levels. A break from there will open the door all the way down to 33. And that is possible. Vaccine will not be available for everybody for at least a year. So keep that in mind. World economy is not coming back all of the sudden, even though there's a pronunciation of a new vaccine or treatment or what, whatsoever. Technical needs for this are looking very bearish. Keep that in mind. CCI is turning around, Sarcastic is flat, the MACD is almost flat, and the RSI is flat. This is a market that most likely it will go lower from here, in my analysis at least. So NatGas had a terrible day today, but it was also expected. I was thinking about making a sell um, here yesterday because we ran into uh, resistant here and the, the previous support of the 50 moving average is now resistant. So until we break above the 50 moving average and these, these highs, we are not going higher. We are actually going lower. If you look at technical indicators for nat natural gas or the daily chart, they are very negative. We are actually have a pullback now, but we actually fell 5%. And we found um, we found uh, support here at the 2.6, and that's the reason why for that is basically these highs. So I think that we're going to see more selling tomorrow. We'll sell all the way down to 2.6 around here, and if that breaks, we'll go to 2.5, and then we'll probably go all the way down to the 200 moving average. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements here and see where we most likely will go and. You can see we pierced the first Fibonacci retracement today. We did not close underneath it. We pierced it. If we break below that and have another candlestick underneath that, 
will go to the 50 at 2.4. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way down to the 60. And there will basically be uh, that 200 moving average will, will coincide there. This is a market that was way overstretched. We were, uh, the 50 moving average was acting as support, but it's not acting as support at the moment. It is acting as resistant. And until we find support, it is uh, not a good idea to buy into this market. You're basically catching a falling knife. And of course, that is just a bad idea. So we'll go and look at copper. Copper is a possible sell at this point. We are moving in a, a very similar trade as, uh, or a, uh, yeah, basically trade as we saw here. We rallied from these lows to these highs. We hit the very highs here in the CCI, and then we fell apart again towards the 50 moving average. Now we are rallying again. We can see that we hit the top here of the CCI, and we'll most likely gradually decline towards the 50 moving average. So this is a selling opportunity. Uh, the very or with a stop loss right above the, these previous highs, if it goes wrong, but it is possible to trade it towards the 50 moving average. And if, of course, the 50 moving average breaks, then it opens the door to much lower levels. Technical English for this are very negative at this point. So, you look at gold. I won't have much to say about gold, but because I'm still waiting for this market to drop towards the 1800 level. I think most uh, everybody should basically stay away from gold at this point. Uh, until we basically break towards the 1800 level because trading this at this point is very risky and there's not a lot of gains in this uh, whatsoever we fell uh, towards the 1850 level if that breaks we'll fall towards the 1800 and that is a possible buying opportunity at this point just stay away from this until it falls towards that area technical indicators for gold are looking very negative at this point and we have a lot of room to the downside. We are at 43 at the RSI. So we could see, uh, not tomorrow, but in the next week, a fall towards the 1800. So if you look at silver, we can see that we fell uh, quite a lot on silver today and then rallied again. Technical indicators for silver are very negative, but similar to gold, until we break this level here at 22.79, it is not um, a good idea to enter a, a, a trade for silver. Of course, somebody will basically say that, okay, we can short it down here. Um, I don't know. that I don't find those kinds of trades um, very useful. They usually go wrong. Yeah, it is possible, but it is also possible that we rally above the 50 moving average, and then you're basically stuck with that trade. So wait until we break this level here because then we'll fall all the way down to the 20, and that is your possible buying opportunity for a very long uh, for a very long trade. So if you look at Platinum, so we rallied again with Platinum today. We did not break the previous highs, and at this point, I think that we are going to go lower. If you look at the technical indicators for Platinum here, all of them are showing signs of weakness, and especially the CCI, uh, and or the stochastic in the CCI, are very negative. So we'll most likely turn around tomorrow, head towards the, the 50 moving average, and then we'll figure out whether or not that is supportive, or, or we break through that towards the 200. But at this point, I will not buy into this market. This is most likely a fallback towards the 50, and that is probably a selling opportunity. But yes, this is um, a market that has rallied quite significantly and uh, it is showing signs of weakness. So keep that in mind. If we look at Pallion, we can see that we continue to try to test this 50 moving average and we just can't breach that. We pull back quite significantly today uh, and then rallied again. But these technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. This is a market that most likely will fall towards this level here at 2.186. And uh, yes, that is probably a buying opportunity, maybe, because I think that that will act as a major support. 
we can see the last time we went down here, what happened here. So that is a buying opportunity. And we also have the 200 moving average underneath. So buy here with a stop loss underneath the 200 and target these very highs. That is a probable uh, trade if we get down to these levels. A break above the 50 opens the door to these very highs here. So if you look at aluminium, we can see that we continue this a massive rally, but at this point, we are turning around. And we are also very overstretched. So um, whether or not how far we go, this area here, which was previous, uh, previous uh, resistant, will most likely act as support now, which is at 1.851. So we could see this uh, that aluminium falls towards back falls towards the uh, 1.851 level. <clears throat> now, we, if we look at the technical indicators, they are also showing that there is a real sign, uh, real weakness of this growth, and we are most likely going to turn around. And this is a, a probable selling opportunity. We are significantly overbought. Our CCI is turning around, um, um, Stochastic is turning around. We only need the MACD to turn around, and then it will basically collapse towards that level. So if you look at nickel, we can see that we are basically in the middle of nowhere. We have a fairly significant trend line here, uh, which if it were tested, then if we went down towards this area here, that is a possible buying opportunity. I would not um, buy it right here right now because it could fall significantly more it could also break the 50 moon average and op that opens the door to much lower levels uh we are not overbought not oversold um the technical indicators are in the middle of nowhere so so a fall towards this trend line here it is uh the probably the best trade that you can do for this market at this point so if you look at sugar We can see that we continue to go lower and this CCI here should be a massive warning sign for everybody that's thinking about buying into this market. Uh, when the CCI is this negative, that usually happens. So we have this major fall here because we can see that the CCI as well here, we also have a fall. We are overstretched. Um, I expected the fall towards the 50 here, but we rallied instead. Uh, so a fall back towards the 50 moving average uh, is the best buy best trade in this case we can see that this area here is uh, is very important and we'll also have the 50 moving average traveling up this way which will coincide with this fall so that is a probable uh, trade for a buy and will target these very highs with a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average so if you look at cotton Cotton rallied significantly yesterday. Um, this was a trade I was expecting to uh, to um, to buy into. I was late, but you can't catch every single trade. But we found um, we found resistance here, which were the previous highs as well. So this is not a candlestick that is looking very promising. Uh, Technical indicators are also turning around, so we'll probably have a pullback towards uh, zero point seven. And that would mean that this area here will act as a support, but we basically need to say this doesn't look like a candlestick that is going to go significantly higher from here. But uh, but a pullback towards this area is a probable buying opportunity. A pullback towards the 50 again will definitely be a buying opportunity. So if you look at cocoa, which is probably the most exciting trade that you could do tomorrow, because we have rallied yet again today. Uh, we have the highs here, and you can see how close we are to the highs, and we definitely have the lows here, and we are very far away from the lows. So what I expect to happen here, happen here is that we'll rally towards these previous highs, and then a lot of sellers will come in and basically push this all the way down to towards the 50 moving average. That is um, really, this is probably the best trade of the commodities that you will be able to do tomorrow if you're interested in basically selling this. Of course, you need a stop loss right on, on above here or a little bit further because it can become really volatile when you get here. So if we break this, 
and uh, start trading above here, then of course we go significantly higher, but I don't think that we're gonna do that. I think that we'll turn around. And you can see, we're also overbought. Technical indicators are starting to turn around, not done that uh, completely yet, especially not the MACD, but we are starting to turn around. So this is definitely something I will pay attention to tomorrow's session. So if you look at wheat, that's the last commodity, we can see that we are right at the 50 moving average yet again. So it is a question whether or not we break the 50 moving average. I got this question several times today, whether or not we should buy into wheat. And my, uh, I need to basically see a very uh, promising green candle. And I also need to see, sorry, these technical indicators to turn around. They are very uh, bearish at this point, And uh, we have just been trading sideways, very choppy trading sideways. A break below here will open the door to much lower levels. We'll probably go all the way down to 565 and then to 200 moving average. But a rally from here opens the door to 610 and then all the way to 636. So we need these indicators to turn around in order to confirm that we are going to go higher. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to, uh, to not subscribe, but um, uh, write, me, write me questions if you have a question about these trades. Uh, but um, good luck tomorrow and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.